Hey everyone, this is Chirag from dconcloud.com. This is GCP weekly tutorial. So in today's video, we are going to spin up our WordPress blog on Compute Engine VM from GCP Marketplace. So I am already logged in into my GCP account and I selected my project and we are going to search for WordPress from the search bar. You will be able to see the results. So couple of these are offered from the third party couple or from google directly so you can search it from here or you can go to marketplace i found that in the compute engine console itself now we can see the marketplace offering directly from here as well as with this new ui experience so we can search it directly from here so depend upon when you are going to watch this video this may be changed but make sure we you are going to spin it from the marketplace because we are not going to install anything manually so let's go and search about wordpress here and again as i mentioned that these are the third party offering and which may come with some extra cost so make sure you select the offering which is by google google only so here you can see wordpress multi-site if your requirement is to set up multi-site wordpress you can select it here or we will go with the wordpress so we will be able to see some information about what kind of operating system we will get what will be the apache and google fluent is the stack driver logging agent and php version and mysql information is here and some pricing for this virtual machine also here so we will explore it more so just click on launch on compute engine and you will be able to see this kind of screen and let's give this name like my blog whatever you want important thing here is to choose the zone because wordpress can run on a very small machine which is having maybe let's see half gigabyte of ram and one important thing to know that google is offering one vm free forever which is having around 600 mb of ram and uh, it is only available in us region and you will get 30 gb of hard disk free forever so if you know that your blog need that much amount of computing power so good to go to run this free forever so we will select that okay we will go with the us central 1c again you can select the nearest region you want if you don't prefer to go with that free tier vm so i'm going to spin it spin spin it up in free tier one which is f1 micro and here i'm going to add some some random mail let's say some chirag at the rate some example.com and here again the important part whether you want to install php my admin by default or not select or unselect depend upon the requirement i am going to select it and here is a boot disk i want make sure you will go with the persistent disk because ssd will be expensive and also not come under free tier so we will go with this persistent disk rest let it be default we are not going to play it with today and make sure this is the checked one because this will allow the firewall to access it from the out outside world and it will allow port 80 and if we want or you want to install stack driver logging agent or monitoring you can check i am not going to install it and now click on deploy so this will take about minute or two and we will get our information about wordpress login our uh, wordpress will be installed and we will be able to see the home page so underneath this is using the deployment manager and all these things are python uh, python templates which is going to build our application infrastructure and here we are able to see that this temporary mysql password is there or wordpress password is there and some information about our this compute engine vm on which our wordpress is running so let's wait for a few more seconds we will be able to see our url or uh, ip address from which we will be able to access 
once we will get our ip address we can make it static and point it to our domain name so again depend upon like how you want to work on that if you want to just play for the development purpose having a ip is also okay if you if you want to point it with the, the domain name then you need to do it that by pointing this ip with the attaching this ip with the domain name. so we got all of our information so let's click and see that how our wordpress is looking so here we are so in just in few minutes we are able to see our wordpress blog is up and running and you can also see one compute engine vm is spin up by this deployment manager or from marketplace and this is having that f1 micro size so here we, we are able to see the size and this is what i want to show so you can quickly if you want to make this ip static just go to ip so because it is important if the vm will restart or you stop the vm and then start the vm then it may or may not happen that it will lose this ip which is ending with 154 and you will get some new ip so if you pointed or attach this ip with your domain name so it is important that you make it a static ip so just click on and give it a name my blog and reserve So now you can take this IP and attach with your domain name and your blog will be accessible from your domain name. So this is what I want to show today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share this video and please share your feedback because this is a weekly series. So I'm looking for suggestions from your side. According to that, I will make every week some quick tutorials.